Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to Redesign 16. So this is where I post about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle every single week. Before we get started on this get ready with me makeup style look uh, tutorial, please like this video and please hit the subscribe button. So let's jump right into it. Hey everyone, so I thought I would hop on and do a get ready with me because I am getting ready. I thought why not do some makeup before I do my hair off camera. So everything that I am going to use is Synergen's makeup. So I will put a link down below so you can shop anything and everything that you want from hair care to skincare to makeup um once you click that link it's going to take you to the second page where at the top it says my distributor's name that's totally fine um i still get the credit to scroll down to shop now comes up with all of these bubbles on the third page you click on let's say eyes for shadow sense which is eyeshadow and you click on what you want and then you add it to the cart once you add it to the cart you click on the cart to check out then once you're on the checkout page right before you go to check out you want to click that preferred customer little box because it helps me and it helps you so you get for ten dollars you get 10 percent of all your purchases all year round that's including if synergens has a sale on lip scents you would if they had a sale on lip scents for 15 percent off you would get an extra 10 percent off with using my code but you have to click that box and also if you spend a hundred dollars it helps me out um plus the extra ten dollars um by uh clicking that so it's an extra ten dollars um but with a hundred dollars you get free shipping uh free samples and your products you spend 150 and that doesn't include the ten dollars for the kiss and tell uh preferred customer plan so if you spend 150 you get free samples free shipping and free a free gift and we don't know what that is but if you spend a hundred dollars for it you get free shipping hundred dollars a month helps me out greatly but you have to tack on the ten dollars so if you have any questions about wanting to sign up or any of the products that I'm going to be using, maybe there's one product that I'm not going to use that is Synergens, but I'm not totally sure yet. So this is a full face of makeup, get ready with me. So I already did my skincare. And by the way, if you see that little thing right there, I thought like I jabbed my uh, my thumbnail in it. I might have, um, but I was like exfoliating my face last night and I used a new product that is not Synergens and when I got out of the shower, I got this little thing. So I don't know if I'm, it was my first time using it. I don't know if I'm gonna do a review on it or not. I'm not even going to say what it is. So, okay. So, if you've been around a while, you know I do my brows first. I do them in layers. And they're not, it's not going to be perfect. I am using Shadow Sense. We do have a brow cream and brow scents. The brow scents comes with a little spoolie at the end. I definitely want to try it out soon. Um, but we have new brow cream. And um, I heard that is amazing. I haven't tried it yet. 
So, I use Shadow Sense for my brows. Shadow Sense is an eyeshadow that turns to powder after 60 to 90 seconds. Once it's dry, it is crease proof, waterproof, smudge proof, anti aging, has skincare in it, layable, billable, and it's long lasting. It does not budge, does not smudge, or anything. It doesn't come off until you take it off. So, now I'm going to go in with our Make Sense Almond Foundation. This is a full coverage, and then I'm going to use uh, my Make Sense CCTM in the shade Medium. I'm going to mix them together. The CCTM, who that's probably a lot, um, is a color correcting tinted moisturizer, and it's a medium coverage. So it's not going to be a full coverage. So that's why I, a lot of times I have seen and I do this myself, is I mix the foundation and the CCTM to get like a full coverage. But I'm definitely gonna just do a tutorial on CCTM I have before in the past. So I'm just gonna take these two, mix them together. That's probably way too much, but we're gonna just go with it. And what I was saying was the CCTM, if you have redness in your skin like I do, it cancels out, the CCTM cancels it out because it has a green concealer in it. And green concealer cancels out redness. So, if you're looking for something like just a medium coverage, because, you know, warmer temps are coming up, that is the perfect way to go. And it's anti-aging, water-resistant, um, smudge-proof, has skin care in it, um, and our foundation is lightweight it's not kinky it is a full coverage so stay tuned for um that the cctm this coming week um i am back to kind of with my personal trainer and working out and stuff like that. I have a few appointments coming up, but it's not like every day again. So, which is nice because I've been on a break and for like a little over two weeks, but like they still call and stuff, which is nice. Like I love that when people call to check up on you and see how you're doing. Like, that to me means a lot. It means that you care, that you, like, you're invested in me, and yeah. Or just like little kind notes are amazing. So, you don't need much. A little goes a long ways. And yes, I did go a little bit darker because I'm just used to that. So. Okay. I still have some redness around my nose. So I'm gonna take what I've left on there and I'm just using, right, and eh. And if you've been around for a while, you know that after I apply my um, foundation, I go over it with a um, makeup sponge to make sure it's all evened out. Okay, 
I am like, and this stuff, I, you've heard me talk about it over and over if you have been around for a while, but it covers up my vitiligo amazingly. And I wouldn't trade it for anything. So if I really, really had to, I would, but this is my go-to, my only go-to. So if you need to be color matched, I would love to color match you. If you need help picking out shades of foundation or CCTM, I can help you with that. If you would like to comment down below and say color match, um, you can directly message me over on my Instagram account at redesign16. There's a link in my YouTube about. Please be kind with your messages. So I'm just taking this Row Technique makeup sponge and just taking the flatter part of the sponge. This is not damp. And I'm just applying or applying, going over and patting it all in. You don't have to do this stuff. If you're, a lot of times, if I'm in a hurry, I do not do this step. So, shocking, but I don't. So, okay. Then I'm gonna go in. Oh yeah, one other thing is if you don't think that you have the right shade of foundation or the CCTM, wait a few minutes for it, or a minute, like a minute and a half, for it to adjust, because you might be like, oh, that's not my shade. But in the end, when it adjusts, it might be your shade. And with the CCTM, I can wear, it adjusts up to three shades. So I can wear light CCTM, light medium, and medium, and they all like fit my skin tone so um now i'm going to mm. oh i almost use chocolate cherry blushes for my concealers that would have been lovely i do have a concealer in here I think this is the same one I grabbed, but I'm gonna test something out here. Okay. I'm gonna test something out and see what happens. Because some, this is our blush scents. So some blush scents you can use for a concealer. This is like a brownish, but when it is applied, it is like pinkish red. Do you see that? A little bit, not a lot. So I'm just putting it where I would put, this might be a tutorial, so this part. So stay tuned for that because I'm testing it out and I don't think I've ever tested it out on a get ready with me. I always do it off camera so you guys don't see. So a little bit goes a long ways. Okay, that is like really red and really pink. So I'm gonna try something these blush senses are blush scents they are amazing they're long lasting makeup they're smudge proof crease proof water resistant it does not come off until you take it off it looks like i have a huge sunburn so that while that is drying i'm going to um, 
um, I'm going to apply candlelight to my eyelids. Um, I'm, I have so many candlelights. I like. Okay, I'm just gonna start applying. So candlelight is a peachy undertone that cancels out any blues, any discoloration, any veins. Um, yeah, any blues, any veins, any redness, any purples. It is amazing, and I always use candlelight as my base. It is a peachy undertone, so it's going to cancel out any darkness too. Um, but if you have a lighter skin tone, you want to use uh, sands and pearl, that's preferred. But if you like um, candlelight and you want to cancel out, you can use shadow sands for multiple things on your face. Um, you can use it for a concealer, um, you can use it for your eyes, your brows, your blush, your contour, anything. So, um, hold that thought because I think I know where another one is. Hold on. Okay, I found it and hopefully this stuff, this one has enough. So I'm using candlelight as... Um, my concealer and I know that you're not supposed to do it that way but we're gonna see how it works so I always like to use my Morphe M536 brush and I'm just oh my gosh do you see that? There is like no redness. So, and plus I have CCTM on. Okay. It looks perfectly normal. So you get two in one. So with the shadow sense, you heard me talk about this before, is even though you have 60 to 90 seconds to apply it before it sets into place, I wait a few minutes, especially if I'm using a glitter or a shimmer because we have mattes, we have glitters, we have shimmers. And I wait a little bit, especially with the shimmers because I like to pat them in and so they don't, like if you swipe it and you're using multiple colors, they're all gonna blend together. So, and that's with any eyeshadow. So, little hack there. I might do it as a video. I probably will. So, stay tuned for that. Um, now, I'm going to use my translucent powder. I opened this up the other day because, oh boy, this little tab. There's a tab and it fell off, but it's fine. So I was like completely out. And this lasted me from July until March. So like eight months. And this stuff is gluten free, vegan free, cruelty free. It's not tested on any animals, doesn't have any animal products in it. Um, this stuff is so good. So it comes out white. But when you apply it, do you see how I'm applying it? It doesn't transfer as white. And if you have normal to oily skin, this stuff, if it's applied like one time, um, you don't have to, like it's your preference. You don't have to keep reapplying it because you're oily throughout the day unless you want it to be. So, um, yeah. So we have translucent, which is white. Then we have light. Then we have medium. Then we have deep. Then we have bronze dust. Then we have silver rose powder. And that is like silver rose is kind of like a blush highlight. 
it is amazing so bummer this came off i'm gonna have to do something about that so uh yeah so now i think i'm just gonna do a one and done today because i'm kind of need to get out the door so this is a staple this is mocha java shimmer i'm just gonna put this all over my eye it's very very pretty and these shadow senses last anywhere from six months to eight months but if you've been around for a while on my page you know i've had some that have lasted me over three four years so and the best part about this is there's no fallout and when you are dry to the bone like this one there's a little stopper in there you pull out with tweezers and you get 20 more percent product they are vegan free cruelty free not to sit on any animals doesn't have any animal products in it they are amazing so and they come in that little tube they're 22 dollars each but sometimes you can get it them on sale if you go to where the circle page is where you click on the link you scroll down on the second page shop now then on the third page it will come up with all of these bubbles and you scroll down to the very last and it says last chance there could be some in there so i'm just taking a fluffy brush and just kind of patting it in and i am going to add more to my eyelid because can do that mocha java and mocha shimmer and mocha matte is a staple especially with this shimmer like I've worn it like a lot of times when I have to get out the door and it's so simple and so natural, so easy. Um, I am going to do my contour and I'm going to use this mini shadow sense. They're actually sold out company wide, but you can, we have uh, like contour jewels. We have that come with the highlight and they are low in stock the light and the medium are low in stock so if you want to do that they're the same size as a shadow sense would be so um yeah so now i'm just going to take my contour zucconi cash contour brush and just blend it out but you could use um me our medium translucent powder for your contour and you could use deep cctm so now i'm going to use a more different brush but kind of the same thing i'm just gonna pat it out don't you just love it when one eye is different than the other? Okay. I don't know. That, I just don't like that. So then now I'm gonna go in with our black eyeliner pencil and I'm going to um, do eyeliner. This is smudge proof, waterproof, um, and it is the best eyeliner I have ever used. 
So, and it twists up and it is amazing. So, okay, now I'm gonna do the top. Okay, now, I don't know what to use for a blush. I'm gonna use a child says pink one, I think. This is mulberry, which it is a pinkish brown. This is a go-to, so it's like a lot of times a lot of people use this as blush. So, and it might look different because I have not cleaned my brushes in a while and I need to do that. So I'm just going to take my blush brush and mix it or apply it. Okay, now I'm going to... Do hold that thought. Um, I am going to do a lip sense color, so hold that thought because I have to run and get the glossy gloss. Okay, so I found a color and I'm gonna use nude honey, which is an amazing matte color. We have matte lip sense, we have uh, shimmers, and we have frosties. And this is a perfect, this is a limited edition and it really needed to be shook. So before you apply your lip scents, you wanna make sure your lips are dry and clean. So you wanna take a damp rag and get off all the food and makeup because if it gets, if there's food in there or makeup, it's not going to apply and stay very well. So, and you want to shake it up each time. And if you hear that noise, it's actually a bead mixing up the color. So, and every three thin layers, and you want to wipe off the excess time and your lips cannot touch you go in the same direction you started with after the third layer you will add gloss gloss this is a must so here I go so this one is well loved I am almost out so there's layer one Okay. Do the top. Okay. Try something. something so there's layer one and your lips cannot touch but right, I'm gonna do my lash primer This helps grow your lashes and our mascara, we have lash 
Since our lash serum you put on day and night helps grow, grow your lashes, but this helps grow them too. So, gonna try some. I'm going to use extra lip sense. You want to make sure it's dry to the touch, not sticky, before you apply the second layer. Here's layer two. This is a medium uh, mini size. So now that is drying, actually, I'm gonna fix it up here. Okay, that's like way off. So now. That should be layer two. So I do have a, a oops remover that is a must. Uh, I'm not gonna shake it. So now I'm just gonna do our waterproof mascara. Okay, there's layer one coat, and then I'm gonna do layer two. You can do up to uh, three layers oh, of mascara. Okay, I'm gonna fix that here in a minute. So this is layer three. It's kind of the same color. Alright. 
Okay. So, that is drying. Now I'm going to do one, one layer of this mascara. Then I'm going to do arrows. Oops. That row is perfect. And then this one. is being stubborn. Okay. Wanna make sure it's dry to the touch. A little bit sticky. Kinda of white. Gloss, make sure it's all gloss before you rub your lips together because if it's still tacky you need more gloss gloss and i'm gonna try to fix um the little spots off camera because i don't want to bore you guys with that so once your lips are glossed you want to rub them together and there's nothing on my hand nothing like it is amazing it is kiss proof smudge of water resistant uh gluten free made in the u.s doesn't have any animal products in it doesn't it's not tested on any animals it's equal up to three tubes of regular drugstore lipstick or regular store-bought lipstick uh it does not transfer like once it's sealed with a gloss gloss the gloss gloss is a must. So if you don't, it's going to be all tacky and get all over. So, uh, yeah. And it's lead free and wax free too. So I'm going to finish up here, clean up my mess and come back with the end result. And I just realized I wanted to add French rose shadow scents on the outer corner. But, oh boy, that might be a little too much. And I might have just messed it all up. But, we will see. So, I'm just going to take our one of fluffy brushes and just going to go downwards, motion, and over. French roast is like a purple the brown it's a very pretty so I'm probably gonna use this and this tomorrow so down and around see how it 
like just made it more yeah that looks way better i went out on a limb oh and i forgot to do the inner corner so i'm gonna use sandstone pearl you could use like a matte shade you could use snow you could use a lot of things so you can use your finger for this or you can use a brush and i like to go sometimes i do it with my finger and sometimes i do it with a brush so i like this color of lip sense, but i am gonna fix it up on off camera for you guys so practice makes perfect i will be back with the end result for you guys okay so i'm back with the end result and this is how it turned out i'm so glad i did it on camera i could not find my oops remover so i did something a little bit different i don't know how it's gonna turn out but hopefully it stays on i did after i did the gloss class you're not supposed to do this but i wanted to test it out i did um another layer of nude honey and then i put glossy gloss over again i don't you're not supposed to do that so i don't know if it will stay or not if it does i'll let you know in an upcoming video but this is how it turned out i will put a list of everything that I used in this video and I will put a link down below so that you could shop this look or any look I've done before or if you need help color matching remember to put in the comments color match and then I can help you out so actually I could help you out with anything so please like this video and please hit the subscribe button don't forget to ring the bell before you leave uh, and so that you will be notified every time I post a new video first come first serve thanks for watching